And from there, moving up to the next position, the rotary motion of the body continues and the wrists set even further. And this, is, this position will make where the left arm is parallel to the ground. Now when the left arm is parallel to the ground, it shouldn't be parallel to the ball target line, like so, it should be just inside it. So if you draw a line up along that arm, it'll be pointing just to the right of the target. Now, in this position, this is a position where a lot of good golfers will check their swing plane. The way to check the swing plane is to grab a couple of clubs and put them along the ball target line and when you get into this position, the butt end of the club should be pointing at those clubs on the ground. That shows you that you're on plane. Just to show you in further detail, this is an important position. You've got to make sure you're on plane here. If the butt end of the club is pointing outside the ball target line like that, you're going to be flat. And when you get to the top of the swing, you're going to be laid off. And when you come back down, you're going to have a lot of problems. Same, if the butt end of the club is pointing inside the ball target line, when you get to the top, you're going to be inside the ball target line and you're going to have problems coming back into the ball again. So make sure that at this point, the butt end of the club is pointing down at the ball target line. That's very important. Now, another point to note here is that the club face should be parallel to the left forearm as it should be throughout the swing. Now, the way to do this is to maintain that dish angle that we talked about at the base of the left arm, at the left wrist, that we talked about at address. If the left wrist is bowing like that, you're going to have a closed club face and probably going to hit a hook or a pull or something. If the angle of this left wrist is too large at this point, it's going to be open and you're going to hit slices from there. So make sure that the club face is parallel to the left forearm and you can make sure that you've done that if you've just maintained that dish angle that you created at address. Also, you can see here that the left arm is not parallel to the ball target line, it's just slightly inside it, as it should be. The next position that we're going to show you is the top of the backswing. So from that last position where the arm is parallel to the ground, to move into the top of the backswing, it's simply a rotary motion of the shoulders, turning them, if you can, to 90 degrees or further. But if you don't have that much flexibility, don't worry about it. Just turn them, you know, as far as you can. Now, if you have turned your shoulders 90 degrees, you're going to be approximately in the position where the club is parallel to the ground. Now, when the club is parallel to the ground, it should be parallel to the target line. The golf swing basically is a rotary motion along a swing plane. Now this swing plane is on an angle along the ball target line back around behind you like that. Now if you're on plane as we talked about in the last position where the butt end of the club is pointing at the ground, you just move further around on that plane and if you're at parallel, like I said it's going to be parallel to the ball target line. If when you're on this plane, you move around further on that plane and you've gone just short of parallel, the club will quite naturally be pointing out that way from the target, out to the left. Don't worry about that, you're not laid off. You're just swinging on plane and you're just short of parallel. Same if you go through parallel to the other side of the plane, it's actually going to be pointing to the right of the target. Now that's okay too. Most coaches will tell you don't go past parallel, but if you're flexible enough, well John Daly can do it, so he's a pretty good player. So what you want to do from that position, it's a rotary motion to the top. If you're just short, it's going to be pointing out to the left. If you're just past it, it's going to be pointing out to the right. Now also in this position, you want to have the club face parallel to the left forearm. You can check that in a, uh, if you have a camera or a mirror. But another way to look at it is that you maintain that dish angle at the back of the left wrist that you started at address. If you've got that, the club face will be parallel to the left forearm. Now, this is a, another important position, as they all are, but this is where, from the top, 
that's the top of the back swing and you're going to swing down to impact. It's a position that a lot of golfers have a lot of problem with. Being laid off this way, that's what we call laid off. So you've come off plane, if you're on plane there, you're probably not going to get into that position. That's why that position is so important. But if you find that you are getting laid off at the top, you're going to have a lot of problems coming back into the ball. Same, if you're coming in here, in the last position, where the butt end of the club is pointing inside the ball target line, that's when you're going to find yourself coming across the line like that. And again, you're going to have a lot of problems coming back into impact. So the points that you need to look at, the top of the backswing, and that you've stayed on plane from that position, on that angled plane that we talk about, you stay on that plane, so if you're just short of parallel, it's pointing out that way. Just past parallel, it's pointing out that way. Or if you're parallel to the ground, it should be parallel to ball target line. And check that the club face is parallel to the left forearm. Talking about the flying right elbow a couple of times throughout the swing, making sure that that address the elbows pointing out that way and pointing back to your hip. Now, this is where it really shows up. That's a flying right elbow there. That's the correct position. So make sure that as you've swung back, you've folded the right elbow, and at the top, it should be in that sort of position there, not flying out there. That's an important point. Now, one way to, show, to check that you're in the right position is to take a shot of yourself with a camera from a 45 degree angle behind you like that, and when you swing to the top, the right forearm should be parallel to your spine angle. That shows you that you're in the right position there. An important point to note about the entire backswing is that the flex of the right knee must be maintained all the way to the top of the backswing. You don't want to straighten it at all. You want to keep it flexed like that, not straight. And this creates a huge amount of torque where the upper body is coiling around and the lower body is resisting, especially the flex in the right knee. The left knee will be naturally drawn in. Don't deliberately move it in, but it will be naturally drawn in. That creates a lot of power where the upper body is turning and the lower body is resisting, and it creates a lot of power on the downswing and therefore a lot of distance.